I'm going to do is I'm going to take the complicated flashing light or siren circuit, uh, as seen here, and that's uh, using a 555 chip. I'm going to recreate this schematic in um, Tinkercad circuits. So let's um, just fire that up now. And then I'm going to export that into so you can see the schematic you can see the BOM so the bill of materials and then we're going to actually um, uh, import that into fusion um, directly create the PCB so the printed circuit board and then we'll also turn that into a 3d object okay, okay so we've got a six volt battery here I've got um, a, a lamp there but we'll just turn that into an LED we've got the 555 chip uh, we've got a 10k resistor 100k variable resistor and uh, a polarized capacitor there of uh, 10 microfarads. Now you can do this just by dragging the, the components. Um, the only thing is when you do that, you get a tangle of wires. So I don't recommend it. Uh, what I do recommend is using the breadboard, but I do also understand that that breadboard makes it uh, quite complicated in its own way. Okay, so uh, I guess the first thing to do is the 555. So if I just go to all components and just type in 555, and there's my 555 timer. Now when we put this in, it should really go over the spine of the breadboard. And that way, all these uh, eight little pins or legs are kept separately. The way we read a 555 or a chip is the dot is one, and then it will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and you can see that we've got the, the numbers here. So one is always gonna go straight to ground. So if we're doing it properly, let's use the colors and I'm gonna go like that. Now I try and keep my wires as short as possible in case I need to add other things there. Okay, so one's going to ground and eight and four, well, they're going to the positive rail. So as I said, one, two, three, four, so this one will be going to uh, the positive rail, and so will eight. Well, let's do eight first. So there's eight, and then four can actually go straight across. Okay, so I know I'm going from four to eight, but four is connected to positive, and eight is also connected to positive. All right, so that's done. So one, eight, and four are done. Okay, now let's do three. Now three, I've said, goes to a lamp but I really want it to go to an LED because I just can't find lamps anymore. And um, it's gonna come out positive. And so I'm just gonna do the LED now. Remember obviously with an LED, we will also need to think about the positive and negative because that is polarized. And we're also gonna have to put in a resistor. So there's the resistor there. Now that's gonna be, uh, that's six volts. So I could do my calculation. Um, so, or I can, for this one, um, I'm just simply going to say that that is a 220, oh, a 220 ohm resistor. All right, so coming out of three, so let's take that, that's there, and I'm going to move it well away so that I don't get confused, because it's going to get quite wiry here. And um, that's uh, going to go to a resistor here, and we want to go to the positive side. So I'm gonna just click that and flip that around. So that is the positive side, the anode, and that will just go in like that. And then of course, the negative side will go straight to ground. So that's just gonna go straight like that. Okay, so what I've done is that wire there from three, instead of it going straight to the lamp and going uh, to ground, it's now going through a resistor and then going to the LED and now it's going to ground. So three to the resistor, to the LED straight to ground. Okay, now we've got batteries, so we need power. Uh, so if I just have a look, see if I can just type in BAT. And this is gonna be six volts here. So one battery is 1.5. So six should be four, and that is six batteries. And I'm just gonna flip that around and mirror it. And the reason I do that is because I like the positive to go to up here and the negative to go here. And it's very similar to the drawing as well. 
So we'll go for the black wire, and that is just coming down there, and I'll give it a bit of a bend, and then click off, and then we'll just do the red one and do exactly the same, just give it a little bit of a bend so it doesn't start crossing the uh, breadboard. Okay, so we're back into here. We probably need an on off button as well. All right, so we've got one, we've got three, we've got eight and four, and we've um, hooked it up to power. Now, from the positive line, it goes down to a 10K resistor, and that 10K resistor goes to seven, and it also goes to a variable resistor. So let's come back out there, we'll click that, and this one is gonna be our 10K. Drag that straight to seven. So now, from the positive rail, through the resistor, straight to pin seven. But also, it goes to a variable resistor that is 100K. Well, potentiometer, I'm gonna use as a variable resistor, so what I'll do is I will take one line and one line. Okay, so I won't use the third line, I'll use the wiper and one of the end lines. Okay, so that one is gonna have to go here, away from the chip, and this is gonna go to my 10K resistor, so let's just make that, sorry, 100K uh, variable, 100K, so that's my 100K, and it goes from pin seven, and then it touches pin six, and then pin two. So we're going from seven, and it's gonna go straight to there, and then from here, it's gonna go to there. So what I've got is, it's going from the 10K to the seven, to the variable resistor, then that goes through and that's going to two and six. So it's already going to six and I now need to go to two. Well, I can also go from here straight to two or I can go here straight to two. So I'm connecting six and two together, the same way that I connected four and eight together. All right, well, the next one now is my polarized capacitor and that's there now. The, the white strip here is the negative, so that's the, uh, the, the cathode there. And so what that's going to happen is, uh, what that means is the, uh, the wiper here uh, is now going to have to connect with the positive side of that. So if I just flip that over, I will go from here straight to ground. Then I'll take that and put that in there. Click that and go 10 and we will then start the simulation. So that should now flash. Okay, so uh, if we go to the BOM now, it's pretty easy to use um, the, BO, the bill of materials. It means you don't have to rewrite stuff and of course you can just export that. All right, uh, so that's the end of this video and then the next video will be me pushing it to Fusion.